Hey guys, what's going on? It's Brad Fusion here, and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. Just a few hours ago, the developers added conveyors or the conveyor system to Space Engineers, and I'm currently putting up a video, or you guys probably would have already seen it, it would have been my previous video to this one, uh, that showed you guys basics of how it functions and whatnot. So I decided to play around with it a bit after I recorded that episode, and it's currently uploading right now for me. Uh, so you guys would probably be seeing it in about 20 minutes or so from now. But I wanted to kind of just mess around and see what I could do with these things. And I come up with a few ideas, kind of going back to previous ideas and just just basically messing around. This is my world of fun right now with the conveyors. So don't expect anything too seriously. Try not to criticize it too much as, like I said, it is just me doing stuff for fun and seeing different things I can come up with. So here's my world of randomness. So... Let me show you one of the first things I actually made with the idea. So, I was thinking about shooting the stones that the conveyors um, or the connectors actually push out. So, if I go down to uh, over here, you'll see that this is a connector. And if you don't know what these do, these actually connect small ships to large ships. But currently that doesn't work too well. Uh, so, you can actually have a setting on them that allows them to drop resources. Now, say I put um, 15,000 kilograms of iron or stone in here, this will spit it out at about 270 kilograms a piece. It won't actually spit it out all at once, which is a little bit interesting. Uh, so I thought I would use that to my advantage. So this is the first thing I thought of. Now I wanted to see, because I was thinking, if you were flying away from an enemy ship and you wanted to distract them in some weird way, uh, I originally had it just so that you would be shooting stones at them, but you know, that wouldn't really do all too much. So I thought about the idea of releasing warheads and then activating these things once you're a fair enough distance away. So say they say saw the uh blah, 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 blah. say they saw the warheads. Oh hell you can even use this as a defensive ability as well to actually remove warheads. So even if you find warheads in front of you, you can use these to actually remove of said warheads if you don't have guns on your ship. So that's actually another idea that I just came up with just then. But sure people will probably come up with these own their own ideas in time as well. So let me just get inside the ship here and let me just give you a quick example of the first thing I did with conveyors. So currently here is the catcher and this is full of the 15,000 kilogram stone. I'll show you that right now. I think it is stone. No, it's actually iron. I had iron in there. Yeah, it, it's iron. I must have forgotten about that. Anyways, now I think the land gear is now locked. Yes. Okay, so what I can do is, say I'm flying away, or let me just back up here and release them so they start to fly towards the enemy's ship. Kind of like as if the ship was flying towards me. So what I'd want to do at this point is, once they get close enough to wherever the enemy is, I will activate the connectors, which will then start shooting out the stones uh, here and there. Now if you'll notice, I actually have gravity generators set up right next to these, and these actually accelerate the speed of the stones, or the iron ore flying out of it. So if I go to the connectors and go throw out on and then go connect to two, throw out on and close the menu, you'll see it actually starts to shoot stones out and these actually detonate the um, detonate the warheads. I couldn't remember what they were called for a split second there, but you can understand how they actually work and that is like I said a, a more of a defensive thing. I don't expect it to do much damage at all, at least not to larger ships anyway. So and as I was saying just before, the idea I kind of only just came up with was that if an enemy did decide to place warheads in your path, you can use something like that and just shoot out resources or junk you don't actually need to detonate them. I'm pretty sure that's been used in a few movies, uh, space movies and whatnot. I think it's even used in uh, olden military planes that actually drop scraps to actually detonate missiles that were flying towards them. But similarly, you can use the conveyor system to do that as well. Now, as you guys know, gravity cannons are a thing of mine, and they always have been right back to the roots of my Space and his thing, uh, Space and his series, I guess you'd call it. So here I have a, a gravity cannon of sorts. I just wanted to see what this would actually do. This is more like an anti-air in Space and his, if that makes any sense at all. Basically, you'd put the stone in there, or the iron, or whatever you want. It would come down to inside here, and would actually release it and it would fly out using the force of gravity to hit whatever is in its path. Now, like I said, this can be used to take out landmines or whatever that you don't really want to waste any ammunition on. There's a stone in here. Hello! Don't know why there's stone in there. Anyway, as you guys can see, it'll fly out through here, 
reach uh, pretty high speeds, and then hit whatever it is that you're shooting at. Now the great thing about the recent addition of these newer cockpits, it allows me to actually see this from a first person perspective. So I can sit in here and I can actually kind of see where I'm aimed at. So if I go third person again, but do I have to press that once more? There we go, you can actually see where I'm aimed at right now. So if I actually activate this, it should not shoot out stones. I have had this thing play up several times before. It'll actually start spewing out stones even if I don't have it activated. I thought that was maybe some sort of bug, but if I come in here, no, that actually hasn't done it. I can turn this on, I turn this on, and I get out. You'll actually see it's shooting at the ship. And it doesn't, whilst it doesn't do too much damage, it can actually break the cockpit of the ship. I'll actually face it towards the cannon here and actually get it in the road of the cockpit. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, that is hurting me. <laughs> I actually had this destroy the cockpit before, oddly enough. Now, like I said, it doesn't do much damage, but it will easily remove of warheads, and obviously it's no more than tickling the red ship's balls right now. Sorry, that, that's a... <laughs> I've been playing a lot of armor and wasteland lately, and we say that term when we're referring to someone shooting rifle at a... Um, had a tank tickling the tank's balls. Uh, yeah, anyway, that was a bit weird. Uh, anyway, that was a kind of a bit of an oversized gravity cannon. So I want to see how small I can actually make this thing. How small I can actually make this to be effective. And I don't know whether this would actually be effective or not, but this is the smallest thing I could actually come up with. So this has easily, you can see the catcher here, or the collector, the connector on the front side here. It can rotate itself around. You have the gyro to turn, the reactor to power it all, and the gravity on the back here as well. And this does have its all inside of it yet again, so I'm going to power it on in just a second. The only problem I have about these small things is that they are so quick to turn around. Even with only one gyro, even with the motors turned on to kind of slow me down a little bit, it still moves around really, really quickly. So I'm going to try and line this up as best as I can without this thing moving around way too much to see if I can actually hit a target. Now, since I have so much inside of it, it doesn't really matter at what rate I actually do all this at, so I'll turn the gravity generator on. I think everything else is on, yes, and I will turn the connector on and throw out on, and you guys can should be able to see well, it's not watching it very quickly. There we go. There was the first test of me actually doing that thing. I haven't tested that before. That's why it actually surprises me of how slow it actually is. But hey, you've got a stream of rocks that say hello to the enemy. But, um, I mean, nonetheless, that could actually be effective enough to take out a warhead. So, I wouldn't really toss that aside as being such a silly idea. If, or if all you're doing is actually removing warheads. I think that's probably the only real purpose this thing actually would serve, is, like I said, the removal of warheads. Yep, <laughs> there we go, warheads gone. Um, other than that, like I, said, it, it, like I said, this is just a silly world that I decided to throw stuff together, see how it goes, and uh, this is basically just me experimenting with it. And I do love the addition of this, and there's going to be so much stuff that I'm going to be seeing people make in the next few weeks using conveyors. And a silly, the last little silly thing I made which is sitting over here right now. This is a glass chamber with a rotating gravity generator inside of it. And I wanted to see what cool effects you could actually get from this. So, yet again, we have stone inside of here. And the gravity generator is spinning around. So let me go over to the seat over here and I will activate the collector. Sorry, the connector. So if I go here, connect on, throwing out on. And we will watch the stones as they slowly fly inside if I put stones inside the thing. That would be a great idea, Brad. And that was what I did before I saved, and I didn't save after I actually did it. Do I have stones in here? No, I do not, so copy, paste. And let me grab these stones out again. That was my mistake. I actually thought I put stones in there, but I must have did that before uh, after I saved, sorry. So let me just come in here, and if it goes inside, it's starting to spew out the stones. There we go. Now, this is, like I said, a really silly little thing I did, and it does look kind of cool uh, if you just want some random thing in your world that just kind of spews out stones and just a waste of resources, but, you know, it's still kind of cool to look at here and there. You can speed it up. Obviously, this isn't running at maximum speed. If it was running at maximum speed, you get a really weird yet really cool effect going on. And I'll show you that right now, actually, before I end this. Sorry, I have to be sitting in the seat to access it. If I go to the rotor here, rotor 3, I believe it is. Wait, it was Rotor 3. 
I'm confused. No, okay, now it's Rota 2. Wait, it was Rota 3 before. But if I actually speed this up to a really high speed, the stones actually just start to rotate on the spot instead of rotating around the actual gravity generator. Which, like I said, gives this weird sort of effect. And you can go in there. I actually did leave the ceiling open so I can actually get in here if I wanted to. And yet again, like I said, it is kind of cool having glass and having these uh, conveyor components now, which is, like I said, really, really cool. So I'm going to get out of here before these things actually kill me. Uh, I don't think they will actually kill me, but they, they do hurt you in survival. I've actually stepped over a rock and somehow died from it in my survival series, but nonetheless, that was the story I decided to leave out of this series. So let me just go back here and let me turn down the thing to a little bit of a slower speed to see the different patterns we get forming. And it's, like I said, it's just weird, peaceful, uh, and surprisingly scary when you're sitting at the glass and it comes flying towards. It doesn't break it. I don't know why it doesn't break it. Maybe because they don't have enough force going with them. But nonetheless, I'm actually okay with that. So it's kind of cool to watch. Anyways, this is it for my experimentation with the new conveyor systems. Obviously, you guys will have a lot more ideas than I have, but this is just what I came up with in the hour or so I spent with them. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time, and stay awesome, everyone.